Hello, Katya here, and today I will create a round canvas. I don't like the edges on the round canvas, it's really cheap one, so I will add uh, white uh, texture paste, white sand on the edges to not make the wrinkles like, like that. So I hide it a bit and make the rounded uh, very grunginess instead and I'm using spatula and also adding the texture paste in the bottom of my cancer that what would be the bottom and I also want to have on the upper part a white crackle and I leave it for dry by itself so the crackles will be really nice before it's drying complete uh, I'm adding this uh, these sticks I cutting them and this is to make like a little bit texture in the background and I will hide most of it but that I don't know when I start like usual but it's a very easy way to add something uh, on the paste before it dry because it will it will stick there so I'm doing that, I'm not drying the can back side, so and adding a bit texture and everything is dry and I'm really happy. And you notice that the crackle paste is white, but the white sand uh, paste, it's uh, natural white. So I'm adding a little bit white heavy gesso to make everything white and it doesn't need to be perfect because uh, I like it if it's uh, come a bit and you see it's not all over uh, painted and I have like different molds all of them from Finnabare the portraits and skull and bones and, and like that and I will uh, glue them to make like a sea finding composition and I also have some shells that I have picked uh, up for many years ago and these bones because uh, and this uh, portrait and uh, it will be like my tribute to this, this summer because the summer have like started now and uh, yeah I want to come in a really nice summer vibe and I think this would be the perfect way. I also add like some metallics and some gears in the background because I really like when there are like different kinds of uh, decorations some more heavy and some more light that uh, makes like interest. And be sure to like this video and to give it a thumbs up and if you like it, share it with your friends. And uh, hope you get inspired and uh, tag Finnabare uh, and tag me, uh, Katja Massanotte and uh, the Finnabare. Uh, account on YouTube, on on, uh, on Instagram, so we can see uh, what you think, what you like, and if you get inspired. But like you see, it's like, like it should be like bottom of the heart and uh, on the sea, and this is what you can find. And I'm adding like some stars, and everything it's like that and now I'm pick up some pick off some of the glue uh, because the 3d gloss glue, glue is a little bit uh, outside uh, sometimes I don't mind but here I pick it off with a dry brush now it's time for some black heavy gesso yeah I want it to be dark on the downside so I'm painting black and be sure to turn around your canvas so you can have everything painted um, and I will add 
like color on the top of this later on and you see I have paint black on my composition but not on the upper part and like been light brushed a little bit on the edges and the upper parts. Now I go over with a white uh, heavy gesso uh, on the stars because they need to have the primer also uh, and I will also now make the edges here so it will not be like uh, uh, more soft and I'm doing dry brushing and the secrets to do the dry brushing a technique here is to have a flat and dry brush and be like really light handed and instead you can do like two layers or three layers uh, it's better than have too much uh, color uh, too much paint because then it will all only be messy and blurry and now it's a really great effect but remember to not have too much gesso or paint and be light-handed and me I prefer the for this kind of project I prefer a flat brush so you see I soften up uh, the edges here to have more natural uh, overlap between the white and the gray and now you can really see the composition and I like it already. I will add some color and I'm using the liquid acrylic paints. They are really really easy to use. I have emerald, uh, the turquoise and the burnt sienna. Um, I could have like even more colors uh, but choose the colors you like but <laughs> what can I say for the sea findings this is my favorite color combination uh, if you want like a little bit rust use the carbine that's perfect and spray water and add the color if it's too much color have a baby wipe and pick it up or use simple spray even more water to water it out so it's very easy to have the color and if you are unsure I haven't dried my project before the layers of color I do recommend that if you're not used to use this kind of colors uh, I recommend that you add one color and, and uh, dry it add the next color and dry it me I'm blending it and I am have used these colors and you see when I'm adding the burnt sienna it's more like grayish green and I was looking for that color if I wanted to have the burnt sienna I have been drying so it can be like really the brown color now I'm drying up everything and I will highlight with waxes. Of course you need the white pearl. This is a white shiny color and I'm adding it with my fingers. You can use waxes but I want my highlighting to be really soft and light. That's why I'm adding finger. If you have like a brush it will be more in the gaps. I really want it to be on the top. And even on some places I'm adding vintage gold and you can do like more layers on the wax. It's not a problem. So you can adding them and you can blend them a little bit with each other also. That's not a problem. Try it out and try it out on a smaller uh, project on a mold or a small tag or something it's totally okay I really really like the effect uh, of course in the bottom of the sea we need to have some uh, messiness and I have some cheesecloth and I'm adding it with a soft uh, gloss uh, or soft matte gel and uh, adding it like in some gaps only have like some th thread showing 
and adding a little bit tiny glitter. Yes, on the bottom of the sea there is slicks like glittering. And I'm using gold and turquoise from autumn set and from the uh, winter set of glitter. They come in beautiful sets. So I have picked out some colors from those sets. And I'm really liking it when it goes shiny a little bit. I'm not adding too much. Uh, here I want to add like extra screws and I'm picking out some screws for some extra details on the bottom and uh, that will be my final step before I'm really happy with the project and these metallics I'm gluing them with 3D cloth gel. I wish you a really really nice and beautiful holidays, summer, wherever you live and hope you un enjoy this free tutorial where I'm using the great products of Finabe. So have a nice time and see you soon, in again, uh, soon again in the next tutorial. Bye bye, take care.